Welcome to this Alfresco video. We are talking uh, today about the integration of the open search neural search with the Alfresco repository. You have this GitHub project, Alfresco open search neural search, that provides all the different elements you need uh, to perform this integration. So let's start by cloning the repository and uh, starting the red services. So I have the repository already cloned at this point. And the first thing we need to do is uh, to build this uh, project. This is an Spring Boot application that allows the communication between Alfresco and OpenSearch so we can get the information uh, of, from the repository Alfresco to the OpenSearch index. Uh, we are going to use that as a Docker image. So after building the Spring Boot application, we are building also the Alfresco Neural Search UI Docker image. So with that, we can uh, build, uh, we can start the Docker Compose that includes Alfresco, OpenSearch, and the, uh, the Docker image we already uh, created. So let's start this uh, composition and while this is starting, we can see all the components of this project. So as I said before, you have this Alfresco Neural Search that is an Spring Boot application that indexes Alfresco uh, in OpenSearch. So this is this application in the middle that is getting information from the repository and sending that to OpenSearch. And uh, it's also creating the required infrastructure in OpenSearch. We are going to see that later. But the main uh, features of this uh, Spring Boot application, it's indexing and creating the uh, right indexes in OpenSearch. Also, this application is providing a search interest API available in port 8081 that allows us uh, to perform neural uh, searching, neural queries into the Alfresco repository. Uh, we are also providing this neural search UI that is a sample ADF application uh, to test all the different options for semantic keyword or hybrid search. Um, so with that, we can just uh, learn about neural search. So uh, for neural search, we are not indexing the text uh, as is. So we are not using the classical VM25 uh, algorithm that uh, indexes all the terms, all the, uh, the words on a text, like this sample text. So we were indexing sample and text. So we are indexing something different that is using an ML framework. So we are indexing that as a KNN index. So we are using a vectorial uh, indexing of the information. So then we can uh, provide neural search, so semantic search. So we are not searching by the terms itself, but for the meaning of the of the search we, we are trying. So uh, this is what uh, provides for neural query, but we, are, we can also combine this neural query, this semantic search with the classical keyword search. We are going to see that later. So we are going to provide neural search, that is semantic search or keyword search, that is the traditional search, or finally an hybrid search that combines results from both the neural and the uh, keyword. So uh, if the application is running and it looks like everything is up and running, we have an Alfresco uh, repository that includes some uh, information on it. In this case, we are uh, just uh, using some classical books for our uh, for our sample. So once this is started, uh, we have the Alfresco endpoint with the uh, traditional services. We have also the open search cluster with the open search dashboard, and we have the search REST API uh, providing uh, the search service. So uh, we have some books at this point, so some different books. And we can just try creating some uh, searches on these books. We can use for that Postman. So for instance, we can uh, use this 
endpoint this search endpoint using this query little girl jumping into a hole uh, that is returning all the neural search so uh, you can see that in this text there is no word like little or girl even not jumping and there is not even hole but even with that it makes sense so from a semantic point of view this is alice falling into uh, that tunnel we can also use this search tab type uh, keyword uh, to perform another query and in this case we are just uh, searching for uh, the terms and the, uh, the number of terms uh, that includes people screaming and so on and if we want uh, uh, to make an edit uh, query uh, like little uh, girl jumping into a hole then we can combine both so we can combine keyword and neural search and we have again all the uh, results combined okay that is from the technical point of view we can see that we are able uh, to see uh, to find uh, and the results not only by the keywords but also for the uh, semantic meaning of this text and uh, in order to do that uh, simpler we have this uh, neural search uh, ui that is the angular application that is providing us with some uh, ui to test the, the integration so uh, this is a simple application that you can find uh, at this uh, endpoint and with that we have uh, the classic search box and we can choose between all the different methods so if we use the semantic uh, approach so little uh, little girl jumping into a hole and we click the search button and we have the results so search results for little girl jumping into a hole we can see that the first result is from alice in wonderland so this is exactly the part of the of the book that is describing how uh, alice is uh, falling down into the into this tunnel into this hole okay that's fine we can again compare using keywords then this text is just only including terms uh, similar to girl or jumping or hole using synonyms and all this BN25 algorithm stuff or we can yeah, choose the hybrid approach and with that we are combining the results uh, so this is uh, fine but we are also providing uh, some kind of uh, indexing for alfresco so we create a new folder like technical stuff and we upload a new document then what what happens behind the scenes is that the afresco neural search is indexing the tracks the new transactions that has been uh, created in the alfresco repository between 183 189 so once the document is indexed in open search then we can just try searching some uh, semantic in order to uh, to find that information in this in this new document that is related to has so i guess that uh, prime uh, generation can be something nice to find so we have this uh, these parts of the document that are uh, talking about uh, digital signature and brand generation and so on so it's still working and if we uh, remove the document then uh, once that is indexed the document uh, it's it's gone and also the same thing applies to the um, to uh, the operations to update the content and so on so once the document has been uh, removed from the index then we uh, we need to wait a bit for it yes let's wait a bit more because we uh, so the uh, the process is removing the information from the index on behind okay the latent document the document has been uh, removed so once that it has been removed then we don't have the document anymore so this is the the project remember that we have a regular docker alfresco using community edition we have a new docker image that is uh, 
indexing the information from Alfresco into a Docker uh, open search cluster with this uh, neural uh, search enabled. And we are providing also an Angular application so you can uh, test all these uh, queries into your Alfresco. Also, additionally, if you get uh, the document, then you can uh, access uh, to the whole document on the regular uh, SER uh, UI or the ADF UI, right? So you have this specific link in order to jump to the details of the document, but you have also the part of the test that is related to the specific sets. Okay, so that was everything. Hope that is useful and see you next time.